In this video tutorial, you will learn how to use Prot's editing window. First, you need to click on Prot to open the program. Since we are not creating any graphics, you can close Prot's picture window. In the menu of the Objects window, click Open and then Read from File. Type in the name of a file name of a recording you'd like to open. For this tutorial, I will use the North Wind and the Sun passage recorded in Chicahuaxla Triqui, an indigenous language spoken in Mexico. Once your sound file appears in the Objects window, click on View and Edit, and the waveform will appear in the Editing window. The Editing window is sometimes called the Sound window. When you have a sound file loaded into the Editing window, you can play either all of it or just part of it from the Sound window. At the bottom of the Editing window, there are two or three long narrow buttons at the bottom. One of the lines says visible part and the other says total duration. If you have part of the sound file selected, there are numbers indicating the duration of the portion you have highlighted. You can click on any one of these buttons to play the sound file or only the portion of the file that you have selected. Nanit, nanit, nanita niña aquí. In the bottom portion of the editing window, you see the selection menu. This menu has five small buttons that we can use to examine the sound file or the spectrogram. By clicking and selecting a portion of the sound file, we can click on All to see the entire recording, In to examine a selected portion, Out to zoom out from our selection, and Cell or Select to see only the portion of the file that we have selected. The back button will take you back to the last selection of the file that you had examined. Depending upon the type of analysis you want to do, you will have to select a specific function from the list that you see at the top menu in the editing window called the command window. Let's see what these different features are. The spectrum button lets us turn the spectrogram either on or off. Click spectrum and then Show Spectrogram. The spectrogram will appear under the waveform. Now let's look at the spectrogram. On the vertical axis, we find frequency. The default ranges from 0 to 5000 Hz. This is the standard for natural human speech. On the horizontal axis, we find time in seconds. The default maximum is 10 seconds, but that is normally not needed because we want to inspect shorter sounds. By looking at the spectrogram, we can see that there are different levels of darkening. These different levels of darkening display intensity of certain frequencies. The darker the image, the more intense the frequency. If you examine a spectrogram, you can see that there are visual differences between consonants and vowels. The darkening for vowels tends to be more pronounced than it is for consonants. And in addition, we can see a series of dark lines running through the vowels. These lines represent formants. If you click in the center of one of these dark bands, a horizontal red line appears along with a number indicating how many hertz. When we learn how to plot vowels, we will have to measure vowel formants in terms of the number of hertz. Prod is also able to identify formants in a recording. To see the formants, click on Formants, Show Formants, and we see a series of red dotted lines that appear in the spectrogram. These red lines are produced by the formant tracker. The formant tracker estimates the value of the first few formants, or the vocal track resonances, of the sound file. For those who are studying tonal languages, examining pitch is a must. Click on Pitch, Show Pitch, and we see blue lines that indicate the relative degree of pitch or tone in an utterance. These blue lines are the pitch track, which estimates the fundamental frequency of the sound file over time. This pitch track is perceived by humans as pitch or tone. Another feature of the command menu is pulses. The pulses button, when activated, shows us where there is voicing in a recording. To view voicing, click pulses, show pulses, and a series of vertical blue lines appear wherever there is voicing in the recording. These blue lines mark points in the sound file where Pratt has detected a glottal pulse, or in other words, one opening and closing cycle of the vocal folds. There are other functions that are available in the editing window of Prot. One of them is the edit commands. When you click the edit menu, you have the option of cutting parts of a sound file. 
You can copy portions of a sound file to memory. You can paste selected segments to other parts of a sound file. And there are many other features as well. This feature is very similar to the cut and paste feature that you would find with any word processing program, such as Microsoft Word. Although there are other operations you can carry out in the editing window of Prot, those that we have covered here are the most frequently used and other features will be discussed as needed.